Hey guys, it's Mad Witch here. Hair. Here. Hair. It's Mad Witch. Plus a wig. So I have been uh, watching someone called Lithemium. Lithemium. I'm not even sure he knows how to pronounce it, but that's okay. Um, and he does a lot of videos where he takes old wigs of his and he fixes them up. It's called Rags to Riches. And I really like it and I want to do a video like it, but that doesn't exactly fit my channel's brand. So I'm going to fix up my Portia cosplay wig because it's the only wig that I have, but to keep it on brand with my channel, I'm also going to talk to you about ghosts. So phase one, we brush it. Great. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking to you about ghosts, specifically ghosts that happen to uh, reside within my house or at very least uh, take little detours and visit. And just so you know, most of when I talk to spirits or ghosts, I am using a Ouija board. So the first spirit that I really have to talk to you about is my Grandma F. She is actually my um, great, 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 great grandmother on my dad's side somewhere. She does not speak English, so our conversations are mostly limited to yes and no answers. A couple of things that I do know about Grandma F is that she likes a dish that is made of rutabagas. I'm not sure exactly uh, what it is called. It's somewhere on my phone, I know it. I do also know that she likes her coffee. <laughs> well, actually, the way I asked her was, Grandma F, do you like your coffee with... Hi, Grandma. I'm talking about you. It's okay, I love you. Um, she just showed up right over there. Um, so what happened was I asked my Grandma F if she liked her coffee with one scoop of sugar or two, and she moved the planchette over to three, and I was like, same. So Grandma F is an ancestor of mine, and she has helped me with um, rituals uh, and a little bit of magic. She helps protect me mostly, which is super nice and really comforting. Thank you, Grandma F. Um, I have asked her explicitly what she thinks of my witchcraft and, like, my faith, and, uh, she thinks that I'm going to hell, so that's fun. <laughs> but then, at the same time, I asked her what she thought of my pansexuality, and she was like, yeah, it's fine, love who you love. And I was like, okay. Uh, she was raised a Christian as well, so that, like, tells me a little bit about her smooth, 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 the frizz demons! So that's most of the information that I have on Grandma F, my great-great-great-great-great-great-grandmother F. So, sh Grandma F hangs around my house most of the time. I don't know if she, like, ever leaves, if she has, like, stuff to do on the less earthly plane, but she's usually here, I think. And another spirit that lives in my house and is usually here is a Native American girl named Kea. She was part of the Cheyenne Native American tribe, and she died when she was just eight. She has been hanging around here for 61 years. Though. She also doesn't speak English, and I offered to teach her, and then um, I tried to lucid dream to talk to her, and it didn't work. I just fell asleep. So I am not teaching Kea English, and I'm sorry about that, but um, to be fair, you probably want an English teacher to t teach you English, because English is such a messed up language as it is. I asked her if she wanted help moving on, and she said no, so I don't know. There isn't a whole lot that I can do. So there are um, at least two other spirits that I haven't spoken to that live in my house and, like, stay here actively, but, 
like I said, I don't really haven't really talked to them, so I don't know what they're doing here or why. Um, but that's fine. I'll find out more about them at a later time. A lot of people say that um, using Ouija boards are dangerous, and yeah, they can be. Ouija boards are a lot like cars. They can be super dangerous and deadly, but also they are absolutely fine and extremely useful if people know how to use them. My goal is to look like a queen and, um, goal achieved. Oh yeah, there is one more spirit that, like, lives in my house. Um, her name is Lucky. She is a black tabby cat. And, um, we did own her while she was alive. And we took care of her and stuff. Unfortunately, she did pass away, which is why she is now a ghost. Um, I noticed her uh, presence, like, a couple of weeks ago, and I was walking around my room, and I kept feeling air on my feet, and I was like, what? And it wasn't until later that I realized that was probably, like, Lucky swiping at my feet for attention. When I would go to sleep, I would feel a weight on my feet, like a cat was sleeping on them, which is something that Lucky would do. She would sleep on our feet. About a week ago, I put two and two together, and I was like, is Lucky, is Lucky living in my room? So I asked another spirit, just while using a pendulum, um, a spirit named Alyssa, who I will talk about in a second. I asked Alyssa, hey, is there a black tabby in my bedroom? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, um, does she respond to the name Lucky? And Alyssa was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, thank you. I tend to leave offerings out for spirits because, like, they get hungry and thirsty and stuff. Well, no, they don't get hungry and thirsty, but, like, they enjoy eating and drinking. So I left some kibble in front of a mirror for Lucky, and she hasn't swiped my feet since then. So moving on, uh, we've talked about Grandma F, and we've talked about Kea, and we have talked about Lucky. So let's, those are all of the spirits that permanently reside in my home, even though they can like go out and roam around. I don't like trap them here. Moving on to visiting spirits that I'm aware of, because they can honestly slip in and out like whenever, because I don't pay that much attention. Okay, let's talk about Cable. Jeez, Cable. Cable is such a, ugh, Cable. Okay. For those of you who have watched my using a Ouija board at the Plains Hotel video, you guys already know a little bit about Cable. He is a trickster spirit. He's really annoying. Um, he won't, like, talk to us, but he also won't shut up. So Cable is a spirit attached to my friend Kayla, and uh, Kayla would see him um, night after night in her bedroom doorway, uh, in s showing the scene of Cable killing a Native American. Yeah, I know. So the first time that I went to Kayla's house, I did some energy work and I did some meditation and I managed to help send the Native American into the light, but, um, when I offered to help Cable move on, he went, nah. And I'm like, um, okay. So I told Kayla that I got both of them to move on because I thought I did, but apparently Cable just walked away from me. So the most that Cable had done up until then was uh, move Kayla's collection of Funko Pops, and they were like sitting up on her dresser and he would just uh, rotate them. It's not, it's like fine, it's not malicious. But, um, after that, he started getting, like, angrier, I guess, kind of at me. Um, he actually followed me home, and he, I only have one Funko Pop, and it's of Sherlock. So, he followed me home, and he started rotating my Funko Pop. Um, eventually, Kayla came to my place, and she was like, Cable, come home with me. This isn't, leave Kayla. Leave Christina alone. So Cable left with Kayla, so Cable was in my house. Um, Cable, I believe, has 
such an effect on Kayla's mental health. It's, like, horrible. Um, not to mention that he is just extremely intrusive. So, I have a plan to put Cable in a Dybbuk box, because he won't leave with just asking politely, and, um, I... Nothing that banishes him will work for long because he is attached to Kayla. So I'm going to stick him in a equivalent of a wi uh, yeah. I'm going to stick him in the equivalent of a Dybbuk box just as soon as Kayla can come over because I want to make sure that he is in the box and like isn't gonna hurt her. And I will probably be recording that for y'all because I haven't seen a lot of things on how to make a Dybbuk box and like that's kind of information that should probably be somewhat readily available. So that's a brief summary of Cable. Another ghost who just kind of like popped in for a visit was the telephone booth ghost. He is the one that um, we also spoke to at the Plains Hotel and he is the one who <laughs> is drunk and he would just go back and forth from yes to no on the Ouija board after we asked a question. And um, it was somewhat entertaining to have him in my home for only a few moments because I was trying to talk to my grandmother, F, and he just kind of busted through on the Ouija board and went, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And I was like, I'm trying to ask my grandma if she wants coffee. Leave me alone. <laughs> so after that, I did do a full cleansing and sealing of my house because um, he is better off at the Plains Hotel. So, the last ghost that I really have to talk about is, um, and I'm not calling you right now, stay with Kayla, she needs you, is a ghost named Alyssa. Jeez. Alyssa is so cool, you have no idea. Alyssa is another spirit who is attached to Kayla. Alyssa has actually been attached to Kayla her entire life, and actually her entire death. They're kind of the same thing. Alyssa died November 1st, 2002, and she was a stillborn death. Stillborn death? Stillborn, stillborn birth? She was a stillborn baby. What she did was attach herself to Kayla, who was born the same year, to Kayla, so that she could grow up with Kayla. So currently, and I have seen Alyssa with my own two eyes, she is she looks like a 17 year old. She has really long black hair, extremely straight. Uh, last time I saw her, it was up in a half ponytail. And she wears a yellow dress with flowers on it. And the flowers are like cut out of different fabric and then put on the dress itself. She can't change her outfit, which kind of is sad because she prefers blue. Alyssa is actually the only ghost who I've spoken to who also speaks, like, fluent English. She talks a lot like you or I would when she texts. She says things like lol and okay and same, and it's great. It is so refreshing compared to all of the spirits I've talked to who don't speak English. She is also, uh, pan. She is pansexual, so, like, pride. I asked her on a session to say gay rights and trans rights, and she said both of them. So, if I can, I'm gonna put that little clip in the video, because same. Because even if your parents don't appreciate you, know that a ghost named Alyssa does. So same. I've never related to a ghost this much before. Um. We've hugged each other, which was such an experience. She also accidentally scared my rabbit, Sage, but like, that's fine. It's okay. Apparently taking care of a wig takes more time than it does for me to tell you about the majority of the ghosts that have been in my house. I don't know, I guess I could just like, do a time lapse of me fixing this wig. I can't exactly ask you because like, none of you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I think. Which is something that you should remedy, because how the heck am I supposed to ask you questions that need immediate responses? Such as, what should I do my topic on this week? Well, this week I'm doing my topic on ghosts that have uh, lived in my house and hair detangling sounds. <laughs> 
I don't know. I guess I'll be back when this isn't a rat's nest. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises early in the morning. I think a lot of people have slept on that song. That song is a bop. Um, so we're gonna turn off my curling iron first, and then we're gonna teleport back downstairs and let Shadow out because she decrees so. Um, and we're gonna go downstairs where the lighting is hopefully better and I can actually show you my full head. All right, so we are back. Um, I think you can tell by the lighting how much time has passed. For you, it was probably like five, ten minutes. For me, it was, um, the entire day. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. The bun is a bit odd. But this is the first time I've done anything with this wig since my Porsche cosplay. Which I think turned out pretty good, but YouTube disagrees. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, I am debating on whether or not I'm going to post it at all. But, uh, this is Mad Witch signing out, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And keep it spooky.